Hey, we're here this morning uh, just to talk about grasses. Many people have questions about what kind of grass they have. Uh, different types of grasses we have down here in the south. We're here in Georgia and around the metro Atlanta area and uh, surrounding counties. And uh, the three ma major type of grasses that we have are, are in our warm season grasses is most popular, of course, is Bermuda grass. Second would be probably zoysia that we see most commonly. In our southern and more rural regions, we have a lot of centipede, but not that fair, not that popular here in our metro Atlanta area. Uh, cool season grass is our fescues, and uh, fescue is uh, popular where you have shade and things like that. But uh, right here behind me is uh, a good example of this is emerald zoysia, and uh, emerald zoysia. This emerald zoysia right here is cut with a real mower and uh, kept down around half inch. All your warm season grasses you can cut with a real mower and uh, cut very tight and uh, give you more or less that golf course type quality cut. Also, you can turn around and uh, behind us here is uh, we have some Bermuda grass. This is, this is turf type Bermuda. Now this is in a common area in a uh, subdivision. And we can see we're here at the, uh, around the 1st of April. Uh, right here at the beginning of April, and we can see the, the green tint of the uh, Bermuda grass starting to come through. The grass has been dormant all winter. Now the zoysia is also a grass that is dormant this time of year. This particular uh, yard here has been cut with a real mower and very much uh, been fertilized, and so it's got a good head start on greening up this year because it's cut down very low with a reel. Uh, I'll show you some in a minute that's cut with a rotary mower that is still brown, which is also zoysia that is still brown. But uh, this is our, come behind us here, this is our common grass that we see in 90% of our subdivisions out, out in the metro Atlanta today. So uh, here's your two types of major turf grasses right here together that you can see, zoysia and Bermuda. One of the most common setups that we have in uh, most of our subdivisions and pretty much 95% of all of our um, houses around Metro Atlanta. Here we see is a Bermuda front yard. And uh, of course this particular yard has uh, Zeon Zoysia in the back. This yard is being maintained with a uh, 21 inch rotary mower. So you can take this yard, you can maintain it with, uh, with a 21 inch rotary mower, or you could use a real mower if you wanted to. You could buy and, and do more of a premium cut and cut it a lot lower with a real mower. If your grass is brown this time of year, you know it tells you that you do have Bermuda or it could be zoysia. Uh, your Bermuda grass is a finer blade that, and um, as we can zoom in on the grass, we can see it starting to green up. Uh, the grass is, start, uh, we're coming into a time when we get more heat, uh, this grass will start to pop. Right. We're standing right here in a, a backyard. This yard right here is, uh, this is Zeon Zoysia. And uh, this Zeon Zoysia is being maintained with a 21 inch rotary lawnmower. Generally, you, can't, you cannot get it down as low with a rotary lawnmower as you can with a reel. But you can notice the zoysia greens up a little quicker than the Bermuda. And uh, this grass is cut at about uh, two inches high at this moment. Uh, and so uh, it can be taken down and cut lower. But as you notice, we're standing in a shady area and um, where grass is shady, it needs to stay a little longer uh, because if you can see the shade will actually kill out part of the grass um, because of the lack of sunlight and grass uh, all your warm season grasses Bermuda and zoysia will struggle in shade take a look I don't really have a good patch of fescue to show with this time but if you look closely in this weed bed there is some fescue in this weed bed uh, this is a uh, uh, standing on a vacant lot, but this was fescue that has been overcome by weeds. And, uh, but one of the, uh, this is considered a cool season grass, and this grass is not ir non irrigated, and your fescue cool season grass tends to struggle whenever we get into hot summer months. 
and basically will just die off. So, uh, but this is uh, kind of a, gives you a rough uh, look at what cool season grass would look like. Your cool season grasses are green year round. And uh, until we get into the hot summer months and then they just die out because they cannot take drought uh, very well at all. Your warm season grasses, which we mentioned, will handle uh, a lot of uh, dry months and uh, generally is very, very heat tolerant uh, for our warm season grasses.